Okay. Final chapter. Do 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 do. I'm actually kind of bummed out. I've been having a blast with this game. And I can't really just do Ninja Gaiden 1 and Ninja Gaiden 3 just after doing Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2, can I? It's, then my whole channel is just a Ninja Gaiden channel. <laughs> we killed Robert Atkin Downs and we got his fiddle. Oh, look, look she's there, Ken. Oh, look, let me shoot her. Oh my god! <laughs> That kill that it fails the mission. Wow. Okay. Like that's pretty cool, actually. They should give me points for that. It's killing someone. One kill. <laughs> nah, I had no idea that that was in this game. I thought it would just be like most games of this gen where it wouldn't let you fire. Like Gears of War or something, or they just be like, it doesn't do damage, and they go, hey, don't I do, bro? Stop shooting me. One of my friends used to play Gears of War with friendly fire on, and like, trust me, that shit is just dumb. And he said sometimes the quotes would play incorrectly when he was playing, so he just <laughs> log online and be that twat that like just joins a random online team and then just starts killing indiscriminately. And he was playing as Dizzy once and he killed a teammate and it <laughs> Dizzy's just like, you're another dead grub. <laughs> and he's like, it's a fucking human. <laughs> it's, it's so ridiculous. I used to play horde mode with him and he'd stun everyone with the smoke grenades just at the worst time possible and be like, oh, you smoke out here. Just like the worst. And occasionally you'd find him on one side of the map with a heavy weapon like a minigun or something, just pulling it out of like cover and putting it back in and just be like, and he's like, what are you doing? He's like, oh, it's funny. And I'm like, so weird. And they'd just be running round and round, making the characters scream and shit. Like, he would do, like, get the retro lance and just charge, and he'd just go, oh, oh, and just up and down. He'd just be like, this, this is just, like, insanity. Man, those were the days where you just, I just drink like a beer or something and we just all be playing like online Gears of War <laughs> horde mode and we'd all be just drinking in our separate houses and we'd just be like, oh, what the fuck is <laughs> Just be like really bad at it. Man, Gears of War horde mode with the boys. Then all my Starbucks friends, all the people I work with at Starbucks are like, why are you playing Modern Warfare 2 like the rest of us? It's like, because I'm playing this stupid shit. <laughs> I could never play a card. Slash. Slash. Oh, he's dead. They're all dead. I will clean these bloody flails into the sea of blood. Blood ocean. I know who you are. Oh no! They're gonna make a final metal oculus. I'm so happy. They're gonna finally finish it. Oh, We're just gonna randomly cancel it with no given reason. Fuck you. And the creators are like, but, but why? It's doing good numbers. No, we said fuck you. It's like, ah, oh, yeah, let me guess. The Hollywood exec, <laughs> the straw man I use in everything, came in in his suit and said, you see, this isn't generic enough to be making billions. 
You can't aim things at subgenres. Get rid of this and get rid of Boondock thing. What was it called, Boondocks? I, I only watched a couple of episodes. If it's not generic and has every man in it, it's not going to sell! It's like, this is like one of two. <laughs> and this is how I deal with it, because it's like the game is literally saying to you, please don't fight them underwater. Trust me, they're just a nightmare to fight underwater. So I just sit here and do this, which is... Yes, yes. I'm pretty sure I could just walk past them, but I'm like, nah, fuck it, I'm gonna hit them. All. There are so many. Oh my God. But yeah, they basically, aside from these two encounters, this one and the one in Heart of Darkness, you basically they erased all of the underwater enemy sections and to be honest I think it was a fair shout because that wasn't exactly what I liked of the original game so let's go into this necrovol looking fucking gate yeah so it's like the EX jump this guy died in the most like weird place. Uh, I got to the front gate. I'll just die here. Look at the skin door. <laughs> Look at that texture popping in. Oh man! <laughs> now he looks more like a Satan. Genshi. Go back to hell. <laughs> How many times do we have to do this, old man? Now he has more fire. I love Ryu's response to seeing Genshin again. He was just like, Genshin, go home, you're drunk. <laughs> Genshin, we've talked about this. Need to chill. Fuck! He's one of those rival characters where they're really trying to get him over, but at the same time, he loses every time, and the main protag's response to him is, You're nothing to me, I... Just go home! Dude, we've done this! You're just a problem! And when you do that, it makes them seem really, like, try-hard, like they're really trying to be taken seriously, but, like... You know, the people in the universe are like, just give it up, man. <laughs> it's been like three times already. You're all a free asshole, just give up. has fallen down. I've fallen and I can't get up. Yeah, like, a rival character really what lives and dies on how ninja. they are reacted to by the protagonist. And silent. I have staked my name. I have fought with all of my being. All to forge a future for the Black Spider Clan. I have no regrets. No regrets. Just as you have pursued a cause greater than yourself. 
so too have I. Dragon Ninja, take my cursed blade. Why would I want a cursed blade? Yenshin. Absolutely useless. <laughs> I gave you the everlasting life of a fiend, yet you threw it away. <laughs> oh, Undone by your pathetic sentimentality. <sighs> Even in death, you could never understand him. Elizabeth. <laughs> and the true villain was women trying to get a dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel bad. <laughs> I really don't like her butterfly motif or anything. Like but it's fine, we fought this before, it, it's really fucking hard. Now, because we're doing the powered up version, I guess. Although this is one of the most similar fiend fights you'll have in the game, and I got no healing items. That's a true problem. Wow. So she can set fire to the floor, and if you stand on her little trap, it will. She'll do that. <laughs> Good to know. Now, it, the game really, it, it's one of two times the game puts a weapon in your hand. And that's about as far as this game goes as to, like, telling you what it wants you to beat. So, you know, beat the boss with, or beat the enemies with. Like, at the end of Volf's section, you get given his scythe, and they're like, no, use his scythe. But, like, you don't have to. You can just change if you don't want to. And here it's the same thing, where it's like, no, you should, like, really should just use the sword Genshin Gizu with your dragon sword, because it would be cool. But I just don't like the moveset, and I don't really get along with it as much. So, very often. Ah, shit. I literally have no key. That's too shallow! <laughs> Fuck. Glad I have infinite retries. <laughs> yeah, this is, I really just would prefer to fight the bosses with my normal sword. And I'm probably gonna give up trying to do what the game wants me to do in a minute. And just do whatever I can to win. <laughs> Because I kind of fucked up my loadout this time because I'm so used to the game giving me enough. Gosh, just... Fuck. I'm used to the game giving me enough healing items that I have grown greedy and I have gotten used or complacent, I should say. Oh man, I am gonna lose. <laughs> Not favorable for me at all. Somehow I'm alive still, but yeah, there we go. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. This weird blood old thing. Yeah, that didn't do as much as I thought it would. Yeah. Damn it, man. Like, ironically, when I played the story mode, this wasn't particularly hard for me, but then that time I had all of the healing items I hadn't used. 
carried over from the entire run, right? Because it's like continuous, so. Fuck. This time it's chapter by chapter, so. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Now I feel faster with this. I'm gonna try this. Ah! Dicks. You know I had to do it. Hey, she moved. She missed my Hadoken. That is really destroying my house. <laughs> I tricked you. Oh, I have a feeling that see how I'm doing better just with the dragon sword? It's just. I'm just, you know, more used to using this for the bosses. Also, it's like the main weapon. <laughs> And I can just swallow back and forth, and <laughs> swallow dive back and forth. No! You can't win! He must win! He must win! Point blank! Yeah. Dead. I totally use these to win for Genshi. <laughs> Man, I feel sorry for Genshi. But not really, because the game tries to do a Jetstream Sam kind of thing at the end here, where it's like, oh yeah, Genshin was just fighting for what he believed in. It's like, yeah, but he was more of an annoyance the way the game presented him, then cool. You know, he was just there and in the way. And Ryu's just like, oh, I've really got to get somewhere, you're in the way. <laughs> uh, and we just go straight into more combat, so that's fun. Uh, yeah, this game doesn't, like, these last chapters, they don't stop, man. You think, ah, oh, just walk forward after those several boss fights in the row, they're like, joke, you're getting jumped. Big jumped. Protect your neck. Or just block in general would be good. <laughs> Fuck! These guys are these guys are like noticeable increase in difficulty here where they're really trying to stop you. They're like, no, no, no. You thought we were jobbers, we are gonna at least try a little bit. We're at least looking for promotion. Oh, that guy got fucking annihilated, bro. Why did we have to be the tryhard guys? That guy got fucking hit with a black hole. I don't know why I'm still using the sword, but like, you know. Ah. Man. Fuck! <laughs> Alliteration techniques give me a bit of a, uh, you know, a bit of invincibility from this shit, so that saves me from being attacked by this guy off screen from a long way away. Oh! Good, he's dead. That's just this guy who's a pain in the ass. Pain in my asshole. Where have you gone? Oh, he hid like a diglet. Look at that diglet dig. Next time, be a dog trio. Yeah, that told him. Magwa. <laughs> <laughs> he said it. 
Maga Zaga. Magua. <laughs> Magua. <laughs> yeah, this is the most made up fucking language I've ever heard in my life. At the end of each thing is like Magua. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tempted to clip this shit. Still, it hungers for blood. The sacrifice is inadequate. It must have more! <laughs> more! It's like me at a buffet. This is inadequate. I must have more! <laughs> Why give me blue orbs there if I can just do this? Like, what the fuck, man? Oh, the only time you'll see me use it. And look, because it's chapter by chapter, I can afford one basic healing item and nothing else for the final bosses. Ugh. Ish fine. We're coming up to the big monolith door. Look at this avian versus predator door. Kind of reminds me of something. Alien versus predator. I don't know what. That's a door, okay. So cool. Look at me swagging in. <laughs> oh. Magua. <laughs> Can't stop saying it. Dragon Ninja. Hello. Like, you know he said they need more blood, I feel like as he's like the infernal priest he should have known how much blood to bring, like there should have been a recipe somewhere saying, you know, three cups of blood, or something. Yeah! Great, good for you buddy. Oh, you got the tummy eyes, and the, the creepy kind of Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Oh, I have to fight the dudes. Oh man. Oh no. Not the Leviathan light from Hellraiser 2. <laughs> Fuck. I'm sorry, I'll stop talking about Hellraiser. Ah! <laughs> so let's stop. You could truly rip off. You're not your soft off. So close. Ah, I'm being punched out by your pinky dude. Take that, you can't punch me now. <laughs> Damn it. I'm gonna try and do this with no health. Uh, you know, no health fighting spamming. So, you know, you'll actually see me try and play the game for once. Probably won't go well first few times. But I'm trying to save that singular herb for the very final boss in case. Give me big vanilla ninja guy vibes where it's like limp your way to the end and find that you don't have enough health items or health upgrades or weapon upgrades to beat the final boss. <laughs> oh, this is survival horror. <laughs> First time I played RE2 Remake I got to the final end boss of the Leon campaign with only like 50, no, 20 pistol rounds and 5 magnum <laughs> rounds, so it was just like, pew, pew, and no health. 
no health at all, no healing items. I was just like running around going, if I can, if I can not get hit once and unload all of these bullets squarely in his head, I might win. And I sat there for like an hour just going pew, 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 pew. <laughs> And turns out it wasn't enough ammo, and I was like running up to him and like catching him with my knife like yeah. <laughs> and then I had to reload a previous save from like half an hour prior to the final boss. You <laughs> try and find some more stuff. Oh, I'm not not a huge survival horror player, so that was my first thing, and I was like oh. Oh, I see. <laughs> Survival horror. <laughs> ah, man. I like survival horror now, though, so it's not like it, you know, I was that upset. And Resident Evil Free Remake. Forget about it. Easy. Easy squeezy. Man, I should play that again. I played it for the channel, and then I stopped playing it. I finished the game on the channel, and it was like, oh yeah, I'm never going to play this again. But I might do now. Man, I'm, I'm a feeling, I'm, I'm in a Resident Evil 5 at the moment. I've got RE4, I've got RE2 Remake and 3 Remake, and I'm thinking, you know what, I might want to play them again at some point. But then i still got to play Ninja Gaiden 1 and 3 yet. Solid 5. How long has Metal Gear Solid 5 been out? Like, it came out in like what, 2015, 2016? Because I still haven't finished it. <laughs> I got to Act 2. got a thunder attack I see and you got this weird I'm just gonna like tentacle around and you just gotta watch me do my weird shit you do like that move don't you fuck seriously yeah, I'm obviously going in at the wrong point because every time he does this, he then tries to grab me. See? I really don't like this character's visual design, I just feel like it's a mess. <laughs> Gotta be honest. Oh, that didn't work. Okay. Fair enough. Why would it work? Stop doing this shit! It's like he's styling on me. He's like, ha ha ha, look at my weird backwards tentacle walk. Okay. One last magua. Oh, almighty archfiend, fearless and supreme. My flesh and blood become your sacrifice! He's like, yeah, sure, cool, whatever. <sighs> and Ryu's just watching this happen and not stopping it, so... This boss gave me PTSD back in the day, but now it's way easier. Now the whole mechanics behind the bow, by the way, are completely different. Is there anything down here? Is there like some stuff I can do? Doesn't look like it. Uh, yeah, like, 
the bow used to be really hard to use on the 360 version. Like you had to charge it to do any damage, like, and you had to stand still to charge it, and it made this boss much harder. Otherwise, you were doing no damage at all, and half the time it missed because you weren't aiming. So now it's better. I'm running. This is like the most awkward run I've seen in a while. That looks like a house of a dead monster. He's using hyper beam. Now, you can hit him in the face and it does a little bit of damage. Really little bit of damage. Or you can hit the obvious glowing weak point, which does more damage, but only when it's glowing. Oh, I kind of work. So, yeah, like, you know, it's weird that this is the penultimate boss, right? The penultimate boss is like, I know you've been using melee weapons and upgrading them this whole time. That doesn't matter. Use the bow. <laughs> and you're like, okay, I could probably use the big gun as well, but I just don't think it would hit fast enough, you know? <laughs> it would be kind of funny, actually. <laughs> I am the Archfiend pulled out gun. Wait, what? No! <laughs> so when he falls down like that and he's like, oh, you made me fall down, he'll do a tail swipe. There you go, and he'll open up the space and you go up a bit. Yeah, this is not the most exciting climactic boss fight, right? So, you know, not the most fun. And in the vanilla version, if at any point you die throughout this, you go back to the bottom and you have to do the whole thing again. Even when you're at the post boss boss. Which we will see in the game. Spoilers for a game that came out in what, like the 2000s? 9? 09? I might be wrong. Dun 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 dun! Yeah, we're trying to stop him reaching the surface because then he will wreak havoc on the world. Except he's not really making much of an effort to climb up, so we're just kind of shooting him a bit. So, like, to be honest, this guy's moveset is lead on you. Kind of vomit of blue flame occasionally. And hyper beam. And a yeah, yeah that <laughs> the slap. So you know, like when you fought, like I guess that's why they put the Buddha boss and the Statue of Liberty boss in because it kind of prepares you for this sudden tonal shift. Because in Sigma, you fought no, prior to Sigma, you fought everything with weapons like your swords and stuff. All the arch fiends prepare you for that, and then to have. Well, you know, all the smaller fiends, greater smaller fiends, prepare you for that, and then this guy's like, no. <laughs> so, it's a bit of a change to the otherwise established, you know, zeitgeist. Ah, messed up. Ha <laughs> I shouldn't have had to worry about healing items because they give you enough while you're climbing this and picking up chests and stuff, like that. You see there's a chest. There are enough of these that you really don't have to worry. I mean, just give me grains. So I was like, oh no, I'm not going to be able to be the final boss because I don't have any healing items like, to spam and like, I've taken hardly any damage and he's just given me chests upon chests of stuff, so it's fine. Let's 
just a lot of this. <laughs> Thanks for waiting, buddy. Ah. Oh. Okay, we get it. You've got TB. Jeez. Oh, now you've got a secondary beam. That used to do so much damage, man. center orb not glowing anymore. Great if you started glowing so wah wah fuck. Come on man, I was saying you weren't that you weren't that easy or difficult and now you're showing me up. Final sin this is not Literally falls like the fool does in House of the Dead 3, where he's like, Does <laughs> Does anyone remember the fool in House of the Dead 3? The giant sloth, zombie sloth boss? Man, that was such a weird boss that I really liked for some reason. Oh, hey. I know I told you to wait where you were and was leaving you to, like, die in the underworld. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't coming back. Somehow I got cut in that fight. Oh, so romantic. This short lady who's kind of looks like someone's aunt. With big gazongas and a Roman toga. What the fuck even is this stuff? Like, pollen? The Fern Gully people? Wow, that was for fucking no one, holy shit. <laughs> no, my special ninja blood. how Spider-Man was born. I could have done this the whole time! Oh no, a Diablo. The same hype as the end. Probably shouldn't jump into the hyper beam. Or into this telegraphed throw move. Honestly! Oh, this shit's bullshit. The entire floor now. The floor is lightning lava. Honestly, this is. Boss fight's a little underwhelming to go out on, but like, whatever. At this point, I'm just kind of like, can we just get this over with? Because it doesn't really give you a lot of spaces to hit in. Yay. I got greedy again. Jamist. Oh, this is gonna miss. Oh, it didn't. It didn't do anything. Yeah. 
<laughs> I see you doing that thing. Yeah, I just don't really... Actually, it reminds me of a World of Warcraft character. But anyway, yeah, it just doesn't really... Um, it's not that an exciting final boss, so yeah. But like, there's been a lot of boss fights in this game, so you do get to the point where you're like, oh, yeah, another boss fight. <laughs> Just floating around. He does things like this, and you can kind of hit him a little bit while he's doing that, but like, what's stopping this guy from just flying away right now, really? Like, the only reason he's here is because of the boss fight, right? He could just be like, peace out, I'm gonna go cause problems. Okay, okay. Calm. Back to Blizzard with you. Oh no, inflation. <laughs> oh why? We blew up Mount Fuji. The true evil. And somehow we find out that it's all fine. She survived somehow, even though she was in the mountain. Calm. Her dress is freaking out in the physics. Oh my god. It's kind of ruining this. Oh no, a skeleton. Jokes, it was me playing a prank. Ha ha ha. Ryu, you're my ride home. Can you get me down this mountain? <laughs> Lens flare. Mountain shots. Oh my god, all of the cloth physics are freaking out. <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's ruining the final moments. This scarf's just like. Oh, I like the like. The light of dawn drives away the darkness once again. Good for you. Baby. She's like, yeah, whatever the fuck you said. <laughs> She's so sure. Holy shit. How tall is Ryu? Like seven foot tall. <laughs> She's like tiny. Sword. Ah, yes, to my noble rival, Genshin the Simp King. Don't you worry, old friend, who was nothing but a pain in my ass this whole trip. 
and had no redemption arc. <laughs> Smell you later. I hardly knew you. Yep, that's the end of the game. There's a hidden ending. We'll look at the hidden ending in a minute, but this goes on for a while. So I really like this game. It was actually really good fun coming back to this game after not finishing it as a younger person on my 360, the vanilla version. It's more fun, I think, as this version, because like a lot of the stuff that was not fun in the first iteration of this game has been cut and they've added more bosses which is nice and more characters to play as because yeah the original game it did feel like wow you're just doing one thing again and again or there's just no variety you're just going from point a to point b and back again doing stupid fetch quests and stuff playing just as ryu and it feels as well like there are a lot more weapons but then there were some taken out the explosive kunai was taken out. The uh, Some of the places where you pick up weapons has changed. So in the Japanese exhibit in the New York City is normally where you, in the vanilla game, got the dragon, the tiger fang, the dual swords, because that makes sense, right? But in this you get Enma's fang, which is like a... I, I don't know, like a Mesoamerican, Mesoamerican, like... I don't know, is it supposed to be? I don't know, it's a big, big flat sword that doesn't look Japanese at all. Uh, so, you know, some stuff gets moved around. The Luna stuff is where it always was, as is like the Wolverine claws. But, you know, some things, they feel new, and I can't really put my finger on it which are new and which aren't, but like, maybe I just walked past these weapons in the original game or my memory failed me. <clears throat> Yeah, so it was pretty good, I think. I had a lot of fun, and now I'm going to play Ninja Gaiden 1 at some point, and then we'll leave Razor's Edge for much later. Because <laughs> all I ever heard of that was, it bad, and then Razor's Edge kind of fixes a lot of the bad, but it's still pretty bad. But, you know, I don't mind trying something new. Alexei was Robin Atkin Downs, I knew it! I fucking knew it. I knew it. Oh yeah, I'm so happy. So yeah, that was a really great game. Uh, I'm very glad to see it finally finished. As in, I finally finished it after like, over a decade of me not playing the fucking game pretty good. You should all go check it out if you like that kind of stuff. Secret ending. Darkness is destined to lift in the end. I still have much left to do. And that's the only time you see Kasumi. Yeah, that's pretty good. I love, I was watching uh, that ending on a YouTube video posted a long time ago and it, people saying, I'm so pumped for Ninja Gaiden 3 because it looks so good because of that ending. Oh, I'm so excited for what's going to happen and you feel like retroactively with hindsight, oh, oh I feel so sorry for you because I heard that game wasn't popular. Mentor. I don't know if that's better. <laughs> <laughs>